color and texture those and now I'm going to mirror them and we're going to use the um, actually what I'm going to do I'm going to go back and move the original sketch so that um, we're going to take that coincident away there and what we're actually going to do is I'm going to make again lines um, construction lines through the middle of the box and I'm going to go ahead and assign the center Oops. I'm going to go ahead and assign um, the midpoint as Uh, yeah, we're going to try that again. So now we've got basically the building centered on the origin. And what that's going to mean is that I don't have to create a plane. I mean, not that it was a big deal to create a plane. I just, call me picky. I want to be able to use the standard planes as much as possible. So roll that back forward um, back to mirroring this we're going to mirror it around the right plane and we're going to select all of these extrude entities and oh yeah we're not going to extrude the feature we're going to extrude the bodies so I'm going to use the shift key to grab all of them and I'm going to do that. And actually I'm going to roll it back real quick and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reuse this sketch. I'm going to extrude again. And so it's going to share the sketch between these next two um, features. And I'm just going to grab uh, this one and this one, I want them to be disjointed bodies. And then one last time. I'm going to use that same sketch for the third stud. And, you know, there's a, a bunch of different ways. I could, I could do this ten times and build it ten different ways and still get the same part. And by the tenth time, I'd probably have the quickest way to do it. So, um, you know, obviously there's probably much faster ways to do it. You know, if you've got a faster way to do it, be my guest. Um, we're going to make sure that doesn't merge. We're going to catch these last two and change their color. And also going to change, oops, make them look like wood. And now I'm going to roll this forward and go back in and edit the feature and catch those last two or f last four um, bodies. And we're getting there.
same thing for this wall here. In fact, what I'll probably do is go ahead and um, probably going to go ahead and swing a bunch of these studs around. And you'll see what I mean by that. Um, it's not normally how I do it, but it just occurred to me it might be quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and copy them. And you'll see what I mean here in just a second. And so I'm going to go ahead and pick, you know, I don't know how many of them it's going to be. And I'll, you know, I can go back in and edit it when I'm done. And I'm going to basically copy it in place. And it's going to ask me if I want to proceed. I'm going to tell it, yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat that command and instead I'm going to rotate them and I'm going to go in here and look at the solid bodies and it's going to tell me which ones I just did, which are going to be these guys here. And I'm going to rotate them 90 degrees. should be on the y-axis gotta pick me a point to rotate them on and it's going to be a negative 90 Now, it, it basically did what I wanted it to do. I'm going to go in and change how many I copied. I need four less than I actually have. So I'm going to go back and edit this. Um, and I'm just going to remove the last four. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to translate it from here to here. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that did it grab the right ones? I think so. Yeah, you'll you'll get the picture here in a second. So, uh, one of the ones I deleted was the corner one, and that actually works because the corner one's not going to be there anyways, but I'm rotating around that point. So, I, what I did is I copied them just straight over next to the other ones. I'm going to go back in here and update this. And we're going to change our rotation point to there. And we're going to say negative 90. And it should be a real happy camper. So one thing I'm going to verify, I still have one stud too many. I'll go back and fix it in a minute. Um, I'm going to verify that the distance from right here to the center of this is 16. I'm going to go up here and check it from right there to there. It's 16. Did exactly what I wanted. Uh, the only thing left to do is get rid of that last stud. I'm going here and edit this feature, remove solid body eight, and that should make everyone involved a happy camper. So then um, it doesn't like something about that 
probably because it was looking for an extra body. Just opened it and closed it. It re-updated what it was looking at.